Namaste, Dev Sapiens. This is Game Dev Tips, and I'm very frustrated. I'm doing this video the third time. Now I started recording the second time. I just forgot to start the recording. So let's get back to Unity. And in today's video, we are actually going to create a touchpad, which is actually a virtual input for mobile. And what's the significance of creating touchpad is that uh, uh, we can handle camera input like camera rotation with this touchpad and other rotations also and other movements or any other thing that you want so actually how we are going to achieve it i have uh, created a cam script and this is afpc underscore cam because afpc because uh, it stands for advanced first person controller which i am creating and soon it will be uploaded to asset store in one or two weeks and it's just a very long 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 project i learned a lot from it and let's get back to the topic so in this <laughs> script i have done uh, many things like absolute sensitivity blah 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 camera client text rotation and it's just a basic very simple script mouse uh, x this is this is actually a uh, platform dependent code because it is inside the hashtag if unity underscore standalone so it will always work on the only work on the standalone uh, platforms which are namely mac os unity uh, uh, <laughs> windows and linux so input dot get x is mouse y mouse x works perfectly when it comes to standalone but it does not work perfectly when it comes to mobile so now how we are going to achieve it is that we are going to firstly create a panel and first let me show you what's the script like let me play this so you can see actually the power of what i have done <laughs> Wow. Like this. Yes. So it's a little bit of jitter because of screen recording, but it's perfect. Yes. Everything's fine. Look at the mountains. So it's very nice. <laughs> now, let's create something. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh, where's panel? Let's go to the back perspective and set the orthogonal. And now let's drag it here. So you can actually see where the touch area is. Or you can just say if you don't want to let people see this, you can set this, 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 this. Um, setting out of this. Then we are going to create actually a new script which we will we'll call touchpad. And yes. Keep an eye on this when it gets completed. Notify me. Yes. Uh, so the script is actually compiled now. We can drag it here. So in the panel, don't forget it. It's the most important step in creating any script. And I think why the script don't work is because I never attached it. Now we are going to actually using some namespaces which is has event systems so event systems are all the events for your pointer events like mouse or pointer and for this we are going to do some implementations of two functions which are mainly uh, on pointer down and on pointer up so we are going to implement from them and yes let's see what when did so let me just create a new variable which is private bool underscore is doing so it's just a convention that we create our uh, private variable should underscore so just following that convention to be to look professional <laughs> and now so on pointer down gets called when uh, the player clicks down or the pointer gets down and uh, on pointer gets up when the player lifts up the uh, pointer so which is very simple and it gets called only one frame so now we are going to create public uh, not double p public void on pointer uh, down 
so this actually contains a parameter which is pointer event data there it is and name it event data and now in this function we are going to say is dragging is equal to true or is assigned to whichever way you like it uh, on pointer ah, up ah, I forgot uh, pointer event uh, event data D capital I like it <laughs> now underscore is dragging should be false so that's pretty much it <laughs> and it's made now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, use another namespace which is unity engine dot where did it go unity engine dot ui ah ui so we'll set a reference to the private rec transform which is this rec transform and we'll say underscore rec transform is assigned to get component rec transform uh, yes like that so now in the update function what we're going to do we're only going to do something in update function if we are dragging so if we are not dragging then what we should do we should return no dragging nothing happens now else we are going if we are dragging then we are going to say for each loop of touches so touch is just a touch it's a sensation it's a feeling <laughs> touch in input dot touches so input dot touches contain all the touches which are currently on the screen and that's very professional now so there's also a touch phase which is an enumeration which is of inside the class touch and uh, every touch has this phase and uh, it specifies like touch phase dot begin when the touch begins when the touch cancel like the touch move or moved out of the screen and ended and moved moved gets called when the touch is dragged and is stationary when the touch is stationary so firstly we're going to deal things with touch dot move now we are going to say the input vector should be touch uh, initial position minus final position which is actually delta position so firstly we are going to actually create a input vector which is vector to uh, input uh, vector and we are uh, uh, and we are actually going to create accessor for this it will be like input vector so getting formal activating encapsulation abstraction i don't know nah, it's the way it like people like it that way i do it that way now if touch dot is assigned to is double equals to touch dot move so then we are going to say input vector dot y is assigned to touch dot delta position which i talked about to you uh, dot y and input vector dot uh -huh. oh. input vector dot x is assigned to touch dot delta position dot x now actually delta position can be more than uh, one like uh, if he suddenly moved the pointer then it could be 60 70 100 whatever 1000, 1 crore, million, million, trillion, trillion. So we have to actually normalize it. So its magnitude should be no, not we should divide it by its magnitude. That's what is normalized. <sighs> Please, Unity, you know, you understand. <laughs> I'm using this. So now, else. So let me tell you why I'm using this else touch face. Is double equal to touch face dot stationary now let's see what we're going to do in a stationary we will set the input vector to say zero uh, let's uh, understand it for a little bit of time uh, input dot touch face dot move is when touch is like this going in like this like this like this like this it's it will call touch face dot move but when the uh, touch is stationary it is not ended yet it is a stationary so what we will do, we will set the input vector to 0. 
that's what is it and is a central vector 2 dot 0 and actually there's also one more as it is touch dot phase is there will equal to phase dot ended so it is actually when the touch ended no explanation required same thing here input vector mm -hmm. input vector sign to vector 2 dot 0 now you think that this should work pretty well but let us wait for a second if you are going to make a mobile game like first person controller then uh, it will have a movement joystick or any other thing so it should also have a drag uh, drag thing the pointer will all will get dragged the touch will get dragged and if we are also the pointer is also down or the touch is also down on here on this panel and if we drag here if we remove our touch here then the camera rotation will also going to change if we integrate it with the camera or the input vector is also going to change so to cancel or to stop that effect we are going to use a very useful function which is inside the rect transform utility class and this is rectangle contains screen point so it actually turns to if uh, uh, in this rectangle this point is actually inside so this is that one and after that our script will be ready and it will work fine but i can show you now because uh, touch always works in mobile or the unity remote but unity remote doesn't work with the uh, unity 2017 so i can show it to you and now in the if let us compile so that no errors are there and now uh, one error input uh, i actually said minus so now it should be okay now we are going to set a reference to this camera touchpad which is public camera ah uh, which is public touchpad and we are going to say camera touch I can spell it that's bad now we are going to actually create another platform dependent code which is unity underscore Android and we can use or in here and we will say unity underscore iOS so it will work for both Android and and if you don't want to use this you can also write it without any hashtag if but it's just okay camera uh, touchpad it is not equal to null because uh, if we ran into we stop running into the null reference exception and now we'll just copy this and we'll say camera touchpad is this camera touchpad dot input vector dot y and let's copy this also it's a heck a lot of work let's say dot x and let's copy cut this also and let's paste it in here i actually didn't de did it in here because my uh, platform is not uh, 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 mm -hmm. my platform is currently not android or ios so it will be this code will be inactive and no autocomplete will be here and uh, no correction so just for security purposes mm -hmm. <laughs> why this security i don't know why i said this let's copy this and paste it here and it's actually not inverted invert mouse if this is invert mouse look so we'll say plus here and minus here and it's all set up all done and you're ready to go so that's it for this video guys I think guys is very boring. I'm going to delete this word out of my dictionary and uh, uh, Thank you for watching uh, Folks how that sounds and thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it you can hit the like button and Feel free. This is also very common. Feel free to comment in the comment sections below if you have uh, any queries so thank you for watching and have a nice day.
or night or anything according to your time <laughs> have a nice midday midnight anything just bye 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 i'm going to end this video so i actually recorded